Hi guys, I'm Alan. So welcome back to my channel and also thanks for the new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. And now I finally have 1k on my YouTube channel. I thank you guys and God is good. Thank you. Keep coming, keep sharing and you guys will get the best out of me. Okay. So today's video, what I wanted to show you guys is like, if your refillable ink cartridge is not working or your CSS system is not working right, you know, cause sometimes you just bought a printer. You just bought a CSS system or your refillable ink cartridges and you just put the ink inside and then you just put it back on your printer and then do another check and nothing is coming out, you know, and the ink is not coming out and you see the nozzle check, the line is not straight and everything else. So today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve their problems. Okay. That work for your Epson Workforce 7710, your Epson Workforce 7720. Pretty much any printer that use refillable ink cartridge and CSS system, the continuous supply ink system. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do. It's just it's one, two, three. Okay, so what you need to do, open your printer if you already add it in there, or if you don't add it in there, this is the same setting you're gonna have to use. Okay, open your printer. Okay, so what you need to do, just remove. Those refillable ink cartridges inside here, okay? Just remove them, all four of them, okay? Right, okay? So I have all four of them here, so let me just bring it down so I can show you guys right there. So right after you took them off here, Okay, what you need to do, you gotta get the serene on every each color. So as you can see, this is the blue one. This is what you need to do right after you put the ink inside your refillable ink cartridges. Okay, so what you need to do, you gotta use the serene on, on the bottom here where the ink coming out of it. And you gotta pull, okay? You gotta actually pull the ink down so you could take out the pressure that's inside the refillable and cartridges that's exactly what you need to do if you don't do that right after you put in the ink inside your refillable and cartridge and you do not you don't try to pull out pull the ink on the bottom so the ink can reach out here and that's why like sometimes when you're filling out your ink your refillable and cartridges or your CIS system if you don't fill it the right way if you don't feel it the right way, the ink is not gonna go all the way down where it's supposed to be. And sometimes you will get pretty much get the same, uh, uh, get the same problem. Sometimes you could feel like in when you're getting ready to print something or in the middle of printing something, and the printer say you out of ink. Actually, you and when you take out the ink cartridges, and when you shake it and you look through it, and you could see the ink is inside. You're like, oh, I got some ink in there. Why the Printer told say that you know it's empty. It's because the ink is not go all the way down where the cartridges systems that have to reach it out so you could go ahead and print it. So the only thing you have to do is get the serene, go there, okay, and just pull, pull the ink down a little bit. And you don't have to keep doing that. The only time you might you might have to do it. If you're printing something and the printer said you out of ink, the the the, the refillable ink cartridge is empty, okay. But if you take out the pressure, and that's why, like every time you're getting ready to print, you gotta take those tubes off every time you're getting ready to print, even though you're doing a, a nozzle check, take that off, okay. Always, always remember every time you're getting ready to print, you gotta. All of them, all four of them, just and leave it just like that. And see, every time you like you took away the pressure from the refillable ink cartridges, you could feel and you could hear the ink actually drop down. Okay, it actually went all the way down through it. Okay, that's that's why if, if you're not printing, you gotta keep these knobs, you gotta keep those uh, um tubes on top just leave it closed if you're not printing anything okay but every time you're getting ready to print the first thing you have to do is to remove 
those tubes here so the pressure can be removed out of it. And you gotta do that for all of it. And if you took away the ink from here, what you could do, you could put the ink back inside the refillable ink cartridge, or you could just put it back on the bottle where the ink, where you get the ink from. Okay, so you gotta do that for every one of them. And try not to use the same serene for every one of each color because you don't wanna mix the color here, okay? So here, that's the same thing you gotta do. The red, like I said, go on the bottom here, put the serene here, and then pull, pull the egg just just a little. You don't have to keep, you know, pull it out. And what you need to do after you done pull, and then like I said, you could put the ink back on the refillable ink cartridge, or you could put it back on on the bottle. It's up to you guys. So all of them, trying to make sure you do that for all of each one of them here, okay? So right after you're done doing the process, so all you gotta do, just put them back in the printer, Close it up, okay? So, and then you just, you're done. And then if you look through here, and then you could go like on the settings. You could do that before or after, go to maintenance, okay? And then a cartridge replacement. You could do this before or after. And then it will show you, see, replace the ink cartridge, start, you see, and it'll show you everything. And then right after what you do, since you already did the process and just pull the cover, okay? And then, okay, there you go. So now it's just loading, okay? See what it said? Replacement is complete. Okay, like I said, you could do it. It's always better to do it before. It's always to go, always better to go to the settings, you know, go to maintenance, and then just let the printer know that you're gonna, you know, change your refillable ink cartridge. You know, so now you will know replacement, and then you just press OK, and then that's it. So that's all you need to do. Okay, so thank you guys and thanks for watching.